Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Sing with Susie. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I am very excited because I have a very special guest to introduce to you, my friend, artist and illustrator, Kate Endel, all the way from Seattle, Washington. So friends, we have a couple of things that you can do before we start the show because what you'll need, Kate has decided to teach us a drawing lesson and we're going to learn how to draw a creature and it's a surprise. I won't tell you exactly what yet, but what you'll need is a piece of paper, any size paper will do, and a marker, any color will do. So you can go ahead and take a few minutes to get a piece of paper and a marker together, and then we will do some drawing today. How exciting, how exciting, that's gonna be so much fun. Go ahead and start a watch party and tag your friends and watch and draw together. And grown-ups, please go ahead and type in your child's name so I know who's here today. Let's see who's here. Oh, we have some friends here already. Rachel is here, and Matthew and Henry are here, and Arnold is here. Happy Wednesday, Arnold. And Grandma Mitri is here, and my friend Kate is here. Yay! Welcome, Kate. All right, friends, let's get started. We're going to do a little warming up today. It is freezing cold here in Brooklyn, New York. So Penny is also sitting in the sun trying to get some final sun rays. She may do a little dancing with us as well. Why don't we go ahead and warm up our bodies and put one hand up in the air as high as you can stretch. That's it, everyone. And the other hand up in the air as high as you can stretch. Yes, just like that. Now both hands up in the air. Stretch your arms up high. Just like that. Put your hands in the air. Make a joyful sound. Stomp your feet on the ground. Start jumping up and down. Jump, jump. Put your hands in the air. Make a joyful sound. Spin around in a circle. Start dancing round and round. That's it, everyone. Ha <laughs> ha 
my goodness. Excuse me, friends. I must have swallowed a fly. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, especially in the winter time. So it's always good to hydrate. Let me drink some more water. Wow, we have so many friends joining today. Abby is here, and Trisha is here, and Maddie is here, and Kate and Casper Baby Pants is here too. Amazing. My special guest, Kate. My mom is here. Hi, Mom. Aw, this is so great. Thank you so much for joining. Again, I apologize for my my froggy voice there. Sometimes that happens, friends. So I am so excited. If you're just tuning in, welcome to Sing with Susie. We have a very special guest that I'd like to introduce to you today, who is my friend, my, my friend from way back when, my lifelong friend, artist and illustrator, Kate Endel. She's going to be here to teach us how to draw. And somebody was so excited when I told them that Kate was going to come on the show to teach us how to draw. And you'll never guess who it is. Oh, it's Cinnamon Bear. Cinnamon, what? Cinnamon, what do you have there? Did you hear me when I said, go get your paper and your marker? <laughs> oh my gosh, Cinnamon has his paper here. And I see he has his red marker there. I have my paper here. I have my purple marker here. Cinnamon, are you so excited to learn how to draw with Kate? Yes. <laughs> I think then we better go ahead. Oh, here. Here's your paper. We better go ahead and bring her out. Friends at home, I hope that you have your paper and your marker ready to go. And let's see if she's ready. Now we, I think so. All right. Let's see. Take it away, Kate. All right, friends, I'm so sorry. We're having some technical difficulties today. <laughs> I am so, so sorry that the sound is off. We are going to start that over. I have been having a few technical issues today with my computer, and I, I apologize so much. So let's try this again. Thank you so much for your patience today. Let's try from the beginning again. I am so, so sorry. Let's see if we're going to be able to hear. Let me know if you can hear now. Hi, Kate. Uh, thank you so much for being my special guest on Sing with Susie today. Thank you for having me. And ever since I've known you, you have been always drawing or doodling or painting or creating. And I love that you have continued that throughout your whole life and made a career out of your art. I have. I've, I've been drawing really since I was one year and three quarters old. Wow. <laughs> well, you have so many different things that you've done. You've illustrated books. You have illustrated CD covers for Casper Baby Pants. You have always in, used um, nature in your artwork. What are some of the things that you love and that inspire you to create your art? Um, I love Japanese folk art. Oh. That's a huge part of my life. And um, so I collect these little dollies. Um, these are Kokeshi dolls. 
They're so and cute. So, and I love being outside. And both Japanese and Inuit art is also heavily influenced by nature. So trees, bugs, birds, flowers. And I see some owls behind you. There's some owls, owls hanging behind you. <laughs> owls. Maybe we could、um, draw an owl together. Ooh, I would love that. Would you、yeah. be able to give me a little art lesson and our friends at home? Yeah.、Um, you know what I love about owls is they're just made up of very, very simple shapes. A lot of people say I can't draw. I don't know what to do. But I mean, a lot of people know how to draw a circle. A lot of people know how to draw a triangle. And owls are just circles and triangles. Okay. So, do you have a pen? I do.、What、I、color? have. I have a purple one. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pick a pretty color. Okay. I'm gonna pick.、Um, I'll do green. Okay. Okay. So just draw a circle, and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It can sort of be, you know, a perfectly round circle, or it can be kind of a what you call an oval, a little bit. Yep. That's what mine looks like. And then let's just draw a line. It really kind of anywhere. I'm gonna draw my line right there, but that's gonna be the head of the owl. Okay. Put your line someplace where you think might be a fun place to. to yep, that's cool. And then let's do. We're basically just cutting up our circle into shapes. So if you do two little lines here, yeah, you've got the wings of your owl. Now let's do a triangle.、Yep. Everybody kind of knows how to do a triangle, right? And the triangle is going to be the beak. Okay. And you're put it right on the top of the head there. Okay. Yep, and then put a circle, and the circle is gonna go on one side of the triangle, and the other side of the triangle. Those are gonna make the eyes. Oh. And then you can put little dots in your eyes, like that. Those are his pupils, and then you can kind of do whatever sort of like fun decorative thing you want to do around the eyes. You can do polka dots. You can do eyelashes. You can do all sorts of fun things, and then this, this is an example of one of my original owls. I do these on、um, canvas, but you can see the stripes. How I've used that, but、oh, with、yes. the stripes, see how there's like little polka dots and and textures. So you don't just have to do stripes. You can、okay. do stripes with dots in them. So I've got my wings.、Oh. Look, I got, I did some dots too. Oh yeah. See now that your little wings are cute because that actually kind of mimics the shape of where the feathers fall on an owl. And then you can put two little lines. Okay. And that's, I mean, that's an owl. Oh my gosh, Kate! I do an owl. <laughs> yeah. People say like I can draw, and I'm like, yeah, you really can. It makes it so easy. Thank you so much for sharing this. I hope our friends at home are able to make their owls, and if they do, I hope that they'll take pictures and send it to me so that we can show it on the show. I would like、oh. that. Do you have any examples of some other things that you worked on, possibly like the album covers we were talking about? I do. I'm married to a musician named Casper Baby Pants, <laughs> so I do all of his album cover art. You order it on my website. I'm selling it on my website now, and if you want to do that, we're always happy to sign it for you. So that's fun. So I've got the CDs there. I've got my original art is on my website,、um, and then I do books for you New York people. I have Old Manhattan has some farms. This is urban farming techniques, but it's not just Manhattan. It's nine North American cities, and each city has got.、Um, A different gardening technique that you can do in your home. You don't have to have a farm to grow things. You can grow things on your windowsill. So, and I do board books、mm -hmm. for children, and these are also Casper Baby Pants songs. So you can、um, download the song and sing and read at the same time.、Perfect. And I have magnets and holiday cards and all sorts of fun things like that. Aw, well, thank you so much, Kate, for taking the time out of your day to be on Sing with Susie. It's so great to see you. You、yeah. as well. Maybe you'll come on another day, and we'll draw another creature. Well, we could learn how to draw turtles. Yes, turtles would be great for frogs or unicorns. Oh, unicorns! <laughs> or, unicorns. <laughs> or flowers. Oh, flowers! I'm good at flowers. <laughs> oh, I love those flowers. Or bears, like cinnamon bear. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I have a bear right here. Oh, I love that bear. Oh, that's just, that's a little circle right there and a big circle. <laughs> well, thank you, Kate. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, Cinnamon Bear. That was so, so much fun. Thank you so much, Kate, for meeting up with me the other day and being our special guest and showing us how to draw. And Cinnamon Bear, did you draw? You learned how to draw. Let's. Can I show everyone? Is it okay? Oh my gosh. Look, Kate, look. Cinnamon Bear drew an owl, but then of course there's some fish here too. Wait. Is that salmon, Cinnamon Bear? Cinnamon Bear drew some salmon and, wow, and he even signed it. <laughs> Cinnamon Bear, you're so talented. This one's mine. This is the one that you saw earlier. This one's mine. But I really think that, wow, these two, these two together, these, we may have to frame these. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kate. So, yeah, Cinnamon Bear made an owl and two salmon and... That's just, that's wonderful, Cinnamon. I love that you were able to draw like that. Friends at home, if you were also able to draw along with Kate, please go ahead and send us your, your owls. And you can go ahead and you can just email me at Susie at Susie .com. You can email me and we'll post it on the show or you can just direct message me on Facebook or Instagram. And please, friends, go check out Kate's art at kateendel.com. You can also find her on Instagram at kateendel illustration. And you can check out all of her art, her CD covers, and also the music by Casper Baby Pants. Yay! Thank you so much, friends. All right. Let me go ahead and, oh, let me, let's put this down here. I want to do another song now that I have my voice back and I won't sound like I swallowed a fly. I wanted to do a song today, Cinnamon, where we could use the kazoo. <laughs> do you know which song that is, Cinnamon Bear? Which song do we use the kazoo? Do you know friends at home that are watching? <laughs> do you know? That's right. The grass is always greener. And this is such a great song to sing with our friends. This song is about appreciating what you have and appreciating the ones that you love that are around you, especially during these challenging times when we're having to stay at home so much. So this is a great song to dance to if you feel like standing up on your feet. If anyone has any instruments that you want to shake along to, I have a shaker here. I have my kazoo that I'm going to use in a little bit, and Cinnamon Bear is going to show us some moves. So there are some things you can do in, in this song as well. There's a tree. There are some other things that you'll hear. All right, the grass is always greener. Here we go, Cinnamon. I am a tree. I am strong and I'm still and I'm growing super tall and I can see the world But what I really want to be is a bird I am a bird, I am free and I fly and I soar about the sky and I can feel the sun But what I really want to be is a whale A whale? Oh, the grass is always greener on the other side the grass is always greener on the other side. Oh, me, oh, my, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. I am a whale. I can dip and I can dive and I can throw my body wild and I can touch the sea. But what I really want to be is a fox. <laughs> I am a fox. I can run and I can crawl and I can sneak under a wall and I can smell the earth. But what I really want to be is me. Oh, the grass is always greener on the other side. The grass is always greener on the other side. Oh, me. Oh, my. You know, the grass is always greener on the other side. 
Get your kazoos ready, friends! friends and great dancing cinnamon bear so friends at home thank you so much for tuning in a special thank you to kate endel for being our artist today and teaching us how to draw we want to give you a little preview next week we are running a black friday sale on the entire store at suzyshelton.com and included in that store are masks for cinnamon bears and masks for kids and so if you are, especially with the colder weather, it's always good to have some extra masks on hand to stay safe and to keep everyone safe. And we are offering a Cinnamon Bear Mega Bundle this holiday season where you get your own Cinnamon Bear, two handmade coloring books made by my husband Dave Mitri, all four of my albums, a dancing scarf, a box of crayons, and even a kazoo. Oh my gosh. We also have a sing-along bundle that doesn't include the cinnamon bear for those of you who would just like the music and to sing along. And we are offering today is our very first day that you can use a discount code. Brooklyn, I mean, <laughs> Black Friday 5. B-K-F-R-I 5. So you get a discount of $5 off of anything on my store that is $20 or more. So make sure after the show you can head over to suzyshelton.com and check out all that fun stuff. We also have classes for kids and we're running classes for children ages 1 through 8. We have music time for ages 1 to 5 and we have a homeschool and online learner program for kindergartners through third graders and we are in session 2 now but we'll be starting session 3 in January and we would love to have you. There is always a spot in my class for your kid. And so please go ahead and check it out. We also offer a sliding scale. And you can find out all the information at suzyshelton.com. All right. Oh, Penny is here. Look at that, Penny. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Let's go ahead and end with one last song before we say goodbye to our friends. And remember, friends, we're here every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Why don't we go ahead and do a little Lion Sleeps tonight? And Simon and Penny, you can cuddle up with each other. Friends at home, you can go ahead and put your head on your shoulder or on your grown-up or on your pet. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the 
lion sleeps tonight In the jungle, the quiet jungle The lion sleeps tonight oh. Wake up lions and cinnamon bears Oh, in the way, oh, in the way Hush, my darling, don't cry, my darling, the lion sleeps tonight. Hush, my darling, don't cry, my darling, the lion sleeps tonight. Oh. Wait. Up, cinnamon. Oh, in the way, 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 oh, in the way. Now jump, jump, lions, jump, 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 jump. Now dance, 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 dance. Ooh, 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 everybody thank you so much for tuning in to sing with Susie today with so much fun singing and dancing with you and thank you to special guest Kate Endel for sharing your art and your illustrations with us be sure to check out her artwork at her website also her husband Casper baby pants please be sure to check out his music if you haven't already super great songs and so many albums on both of their websites we are sending you so much love from our couch in our living room in Brooklyn to wherever it is that you're watching. And we'll see you again on Monday. Bye, everyone.